everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm Caribbean welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. It's part three of our seven night Caribbean cruise on board P&O's Avia. Here's what you missed. <laughs> Coming up today. Ooh. Coming up in the third and final part, we sample a speciality breakfast on board. It's sea day number three as we sail to Antigua, roast at the Keys, the fly cruise and disembarkation process for the return journey home, twilight swimming and one last sunset, or at least we thought, sweet treats from Sprinkles, fabulous vegan dining at Green & Co, late night snacks and the obligatory Horlicks. We explore some of what Antigua has to offer independently, hugs and snogs dockside, telephone boxes, beautiful Dickinson Bay, the best rum punch of the trip, and finally back on board for what would be the worst travel experience of our lives. It's rest period. <laughs> More well, where are you going to put us then? Midnight. Wow. Of course, this situation is extremely regrettable. That's I need to get From sleeping on lounges outside to being dumped at an airport for the whole night, find out all about our 16-hour nightmarish delayed journey home. Good morning, everybody. Is it morning when you are? Possibly not. We are sailing the Caribbean, heading for Antigua. Another beautiful day at sea. It's about half eight in the morning. Look at all of the safe loungers. They're all saved, not being used. Very naughty people. Already, so there are plenty of breakfast options on Avia. You've got the main dining room, you've got the buffet, Sixth Street Diner offers a brunch, you could have a limited um, in dining room service as well, and there's also the keys. However, on this occasion, we are heading to the Keel and Cow. This is speciality breakfast, therefore, each dish comes with a surcharge. Why are we doing this? Because we want to. All right, imagine I were treating you to this breakfast, folks. What would you have? Oh, and by the way, coffees, teas, and these three juices are also included. Give me life force. Alrighty, we are starting with a shared pastry basket. I know, right? Why would you share? Because my darlings are not greedy, normally. Toasted brioche, a cinnamon swirl, Pan au chocolat, a mouffin. Oh, it's a blueberry one. Croissant. Funky background music. Only here at the Keel and Cow. Right, eggs Benedict for Matthew, and he has this with the crushed avocado, lime, and chili. Looks like you got tomato on it as well. Yeah, on a bagel. And it's on a bagel. Choose your bread. All right, and a massive surprise to you all. I've never ever had eggs Benedict. <laughs> I've asked for my eggs well done and they are just a little bit of runny yolk which I like. I don't like those snotty whites. Sorry to those of you who are offended by this. Alrighty, well I actually like that but, and here's the big but, it's not as good as the one Matthew had in the main dining room which obviously is included in your cruise fare. And on Matthew's dish there's lots of red onion which is not on the menu. They've offered to change it which is very kind of them and also for a paid experience. It would be nice to have all the condiments on the table. Uh, other tables have got salt, pepper, ketchup, etc. Um, we don't mind asking for it, of course we don't, but I think for a paid experience, it should be there. Alrighty, that's breakfast done. We don't think it's better than breakfast we've had in the main dining room, actually, so probably won't be back. Right, because we are so health conscious, as you know, a little walk around prom deck would be lovely. Wow, these infinity hot tubs actually available on Prom Deck this morning. Fabulous. The life. I know I don't want bubbles right now. I'm enjoying it as it is. The life. Who got me an iced coffee of his own volition, Mackle? That's kind, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Hi, Jamie. We're having a brilliant time in the Caribbean. Happy New Year to everybody back home. Look who's found a granddad chair. Who do we call you? Old Man Matthew. Old Man Matthew. Oh, I love this little jutty out bridge on prom deck. Fabulous views. All the reflections in the glass. Bloody handsome, my loves. 
Right, let's check out the water situation. So there are six Infinity Whirlpool slash hot tubs on prom deck. Uh, there are showers next to each one. There's an accessible shower here. At the after prom deck, you've got two large Whirlpool tubs. At the after deck 16, you've got the <laughs> Hello <laughs> Infinity uh, Summer Bar and also the Infinity Pool with fantastic views. At the aft on deck 17, you've also got two large whirlpool tubs. Deck 18 for the panorama pool. And also on deck 18 towards the aft, a splash zone. Again, each of these areas have their own showers, uh, toilets, accessible toilets and showers as well, like this one, plus baby change. Midship on deck 17, you've got more whirlpool tubs. Deck 16 midship for the Sky Dome pool with its retractable roof. Deck 18 has four more infinity hot tubs. The adults only beach coma pool, or at least it's adults only on this particular itinerary with its infamous long bar lines. <laughs> And at the very front of deck 18, you've got the retreat with its whirlpool tubs as well. Uh, it's a surcharge to use this area. It is busy out on deck. Thank goodness we've got a balcony. Cheers, my darlings. Pretty glorious. And back in the keys for lunch, I'm going to roast. Alrighty, I'm going with the giant Yorkshire field with roast turkey and veggies. And I've got roasted potatoes, stuffing and cauliflower cheese. Guessing that Matthew has gone to hook line in vinegar. What do you reckon? Place your bets. Oh, I knew it. Fish, chips, mushy peas, and curry sauce. Okay, well, mine's very nice. Matthew's fish, however, is very poor. I mean, he's describing it as chewy. I never thought fish could be chewy. Right, I can't put it off anymore, folks. I need to talk you through the disembarkation process. I love that in this pack, it says, while we don't wish to draw your attention to going home, we absolutely are going to do that. Now then, in our pack, we've received our luggage labels. You need to attach these to your hold luggage and put your luggage outside your cabin between 5 p.m. and midnight, the day before departure. And I hasten to add, this process is for charter flights only. For example, Malif Aero. Oh my God, I've got legs sprouting out of my neck. Your hold luggage gets whisked off to the airport uh, screened at security, put on the plane, and the next time you see it should be a carousel at your destination airport for us London Gatwick. In your pack, you'll also find your boarding passes or some. Attach these coloured labels as well, as these indicate which airport you'll be flying to. Now then, if you plan on going ashore and you want to leave your hand luggage on board, you can actually take it to the headliners theatre between 8am uh, and as long as you collect it by 4pm, they will store it securely for you. You'll also receive information about your departure from the ship. So our meeting time, for example, is at 2 p.m. in a headliners theater. Uh, we'll be whisked off to the airport and apparently arrive the following morning by 5.25 a.m. I doubt that very much, but happy to eat my words. You'll still be able to make purchases whilst on board, although these will be charged to your account individually. You'll notice there's also information about venues that are open for breakfast, brunch, and lunch whilst you're still on board. What all this means for us is we are absolutely going ashore in Antigua. Yes! Just making sure my patrons know I write their cards out on my cruise. This one's probably going to smell a little bit like sun cream if you're lucky. It's pool time. Straight in for me. No fuss, no wimpage. Love it. Lovely jubbly. Let's see if I can find something suitable for Le Mafu at Sprinkles. This is speciality ice cream and yes, a surcharge applies. Sorry. So as well as your gelato and the ice cream sticks here, you can get a gelato afternoon tea. I would recommend one between your family. They are massive. And they do Sundays as well. Very nice. Look at this. I've got a sea salt and caramel stick for Matthew. And an extra dark chocolate. Oh, can I just say thank you to all those of you coming up and saying hi during this cruise. It's actually quite overwhelming how many people um, recognize me and Matthew. Uh, we really appreciate it. We hope you're having a fab cruise. 
Alrighty folks, here comes a little bit of a grumble. Now then, this itinerary, obviously fabulous in terms of the Caribbean islands we've visited, not disputing that for a moment. But on this one week cruise, we have three sea days. Now, when I booked this, I made the wrong assumption that it was because we had certain distances to travel between islands. Not the case though. Um, we have a sea day today, whereas the distance between Antigua and our previous port, St. Martin, is actually very minimal. Is this to do with finances, cost cutting? I wouldn't like to say, but actually three sea days for this itinerary uh, we feel is far too many. We want more time on the Caribbean islands. So Pino, please can you add another port on seven night Caribbean cruises? Thank you, Jesus. And by the way, we are literally going four whole knots. Hmm. Oh my goodness, we can't put it off anymore. It is time to pack. Alrighty, it's time for one last night out. All right, let's do a bit of Amber Lounge. And it looks like we're gonna have some music from the pianist as well. Awesome. Cheers, Matthew. Here's to the last night. We've both got our porn star, I mean, passion fruit martini. Don't call them porn star. I've gone all tropical tonight as well, my darlings. Cheers. Is it gonna be sour? Oh yeah, that is sour AF. Just like me. Oh, I don't know where this came from. Chin chin again, Matthew. Nom nom nom. You can take the star out of Basingstoke, but you can't take the porn out of... No, that's not right, is it? I'm really sorry to the lady who just stopped me for a chat. We've got a dinner reservation though at Green & Co and we're late. I'm so sorry. It's Green & Co time, speciality dining. It's all plant-based meals as well. And so colorful. I think it's fabulous in here, I really do. In we go. Mitsuana is just here, that's the uh, sushi bar which I find a bit incongruent with the plant-based theme, but hey-ho, here we are. The last time we were here, Matthew actually looked up the cost of these lights online and it was something like, was it 70, 80 pound or something? Yeah. It was a lot of money, no expense spared. Right folks, so each dish priced individually here. These are your small plates. We've actually been through pretty much all the menu before and love it. And then you've got your sharing plates large plates i love large right cheers matthew oh i love that sound i've gone with an orange wine get me i am so in vogue thank you very much here's my ramen oh i see red chili thank you jesus okay so that's the cauliflower tempura this is sesame encrusted fried tofu these are the tostadas and sweet potato pakora. No, I'm not going to annoy you by shoving every single dish in my mouth and talking about everything. I will do a summary. Holy shit. My ramen is so spicy, it's blowing my face off and I love every moment of that. If you are wondering whether we enjoyed our meal at Green & Co, just look at this. It was absolutely delicious and probably one of the best meals we've had all week actually the other thing about this place is there's so many other items on the menu we would happily try and come back again and again delicious even if you're a meat eater a carnivore this is fabulous wow late night snacks lots of different types of sandwiches and salad cold cuts desserts as well they look good cupcakes and you've got hot snacks as well. Steak and kidney pudding, curry and rice. Oh my goodness, and Horlicks. Thank you, everybody. And the traveling Horlicks arrives back in the cabin. I'm not sure where this Indian food arrived from, but I might as well have it. There's no nibbles covered tonight. I'm sure you can understand that. Hmm? 
Right, those cases need to go out. Buy little and large level eight cases. Will we see you in a couple days time? I hope we do. Safe travels, my darlings. It's time to take it easy. Time to lavender ourselves up. <sighs> Listen up, my darlings. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Oh yeah, we should have a good number of hours on the island of Antigua before uh, transferring to the airport for our late afternoon flight back to London Gatwick with Malath Aero. Um, having said that, it looks like the flight that's coming over here to collect us is going to be about four hours delayed minimum, go figure. That just means more time on Antigua. Awesome. I'll see you all tomorrow. Love to you all. Mwah. Mwah and mwah. Good morning, Antigua. Nice to see you. Oh, look, Morella Discovery. That's a nice little ship, actually. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Look at that. He's been a good one. Got me a coffee. Alrighty. Oh, belch. Alrighty, we need to be out of our cabin by 9am on disembarkation day. Now Matthew is tracking the flight that is coming over here to collect us and at the moment it looks like it's about 5 hours delayed. Yet the flight manager on board the ship is claiming to know nothing about this delay. <laughs> Obviously that would have a massive impact on when we are taken from the ship to the airport and it impacts how much time you can have ashore as well. So it's a bit annoying to not have any information from p &O at this moment. Nevertheless, out we have to be. So ritualistic farewells to Balcony. You are a lovely size. I love the views. Thank you very much. Bed, you are super comfortable. I'll miss you. Little toilet, I'll miss singing our song. One cheek, two cheek. Mm -hmm -hmm. Shower, you were very hot. I liked you very much. Bye. Bye, cabin 12705. Okay, your flight times this evening have been put back. No surprise. Flight screens have been... Alrighty, update from the captain. And very timely as well, given what I said to you just now. So... He has at least confirmed our flight and the flight to Manchester. Um, both of them have been delayed by probably about five hours. Therefore, our pickup time has changed to half five from the Headliners Theatre today. Now, what that means is we are now able to come back into our cabins and use our cabins until 4 p.m., which is a godsend, of course. And of course, you can use all the facilities on board as well. You can go ashore, do what you want to. Um, it's great because it means we'll be able to have a proper shower in our cabin before we then uh, disembark, which makes a massive difference for your comfort. Also, Capitan has said we are allowed to make free calls from the telephones in our cabin, which uh, I haven't heard of before actually, but I suppose if people have uh, to change their ongoing travel plans, that's quite important. So thank you for that. I think Matthew and I both agree, we just want clarity. Um, we want p &O to consider everyone's well-being and comfort whilst we have uh, a major delay. Now, when we traveled with Morella Cruises in the summer, our flight was also delayed considerably. They didn't do any of this. They just took us to the airport and we had to sit and wait. So this is, in our view, a big win. Um, if our flight is delayed by four hours or more on arrival into London Gatwick, you're damn right we'll be claiming. <laughs> and now, breakfast. Alrighty, waffle for me, uh, banana smoothie, got a muffin for Matthew. He's just getting himself an omelette. Oh, and Matthew has sneakily snuck on some hash browns as well. Oh, two sausages. Two sausage Matthew, they call him. Look at Arvia's godmother looking smug AF. I do love you, Sherzy. And here are the updated screens with our new meeting time. Notice no issues with Virgin or BA. Welcome to Antigua. Give me those steel drums, I love it. Karaoke at Rum Runners. 
Yay for a cruise terminal Caribbean village. Rum Alley, oh my goodness. I just want to apologize as well. I called those ladies karaoke singers. Apparently they're the professionals. Sorry. Wowzers, this really is a bustling big village. I love how colorful it is. But we're heading to Dickinson Bay. Look at this lovely lady. Hi, it's Rita. It's Hi. Rita. You know Rita, yeah? Hi. She's just literally attacked me in the middle of the street in Antigua. <laughs> and she said, oh, darling. <laughs> And he's with Matthew. Oh. He doesn't like, a bit, you know he doesn't like a period. I know. Let me kiss, let me kiss. But he's lovely. So this is quite unexpected for us in terms of the length we'll be here. We're taking a taxi and there are loads of taxis just outside the cruise terminal. Um, we're heading to Dickinson Bay and it's uh, five US dollars per person. We're home, although we've never been here. Oh, look at this bar. Love it, it's so colorful. Well, there are worse ways to spend your last day of a cruise, I've got to be honest with you. The obligatory phone box video footage. Oh yeah. Floating bar anybody? Lovely chubbly. Oh yeah. This still is the life. Right, we have found our little spot, our little piece of heaven. And there's nobody in this bay. Thank you, Antigua. I totally love how a wimp like me can get straight in the sea. Thank you, Caribbean Sea. There's little Matthew, sat on the rocks like a little hermit. Now then, be warned, the food and drink prices in the restaurants and bars along Dickinson Bay are eye-watering. I just got two cans of Coke for $8. That's quite a lot. Uh, starters in the restaurant begin at about $16, $17. You have been warned, bring a lot of ka-ching, my darlings. In he goes. Don't often see a Matthew swimming, so it must be warm enough. There you go, he did it. Well done, Matthew. He looks very pleased with himself. Is it going to be something out of The Little Mermaid or James Bond? Which one? Maybe neither. Sneaky Pete's look. Thanks, Sneaky Pete's. The rum ain't gone yet. Eight US dollars for what is a very strong rum punch. It's gorgeous. Cheers everybody! Sneaky Pete, you've nearly ruined me. That was strong AF. It's actually one of the best rum cocktails I've had since we started this cruise. Oh yes. Sneaky Pete, thank you very much. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. What's the palm tree? Who's having pictures taken? Jamie. Who is having pictures taken? Matthew. Matthew. He never does that, does he? No. Right, our lovely lady who brought us here has met us a few hours later. <laughs> Off we go back to the port, it's so easy. And there you go, that's about 15 minute transfer from Dickinson Bay back to the cruise terminal. Easy. We're back babies, we're back. We are back on board. There's a film on in the Sky Dome, but we're having our lunch at 360. Like a poolside grill. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburger and fries for me, plus we'll throw in a pizza and some coleslaw. Antigua views with a dirty burger. What a lush. Oh, Encanto in the Sky Dome, how awesome. And from the pool, why not? I feel like I'm just getting ready to say my goodbyes now to Avia. Nearly time to head back to the cabin, freshen up and head off to the airport. And we're leaving our cabin again. For the second time, I'm not doing another ritualistic goodbye. I've done all that, but farewell cabin, love you. I'll let you into a secret. 
Matthew's been checking flight schedules on hours, plus the Manchester flight, both delayed flights, are not showing anymore for tonight. In fact, they're not showing until tomorrow morning, but we've not been given any information. So it could be a, a blip, a glitch somewhere. What do you think? What's gonna happen? <laughs> I don't think there's any room on this ship tonight once those passengers arrive here from those late flights. Let's see what happens. And you can imagine what's going down on those Facebook forums, can't you? <laughs> oh, the aerialists are practicing for whatever they're doing tonight. We won't be here. I do have one last ice latte though. So there. Now then, I've avoided the casino. Otherwise, I'd be bankrupt by now. Yeah, I am totally addicted to casino life, okay? And with cruises happening in my life every few weeks now, I can't afford to throw me money down the slots or on the tables. And Headliners Theatre. Not for a show, for our disembarkation. Well, here's a look at the theatre. It's not actually the biggest theatre I've seen on a cruise ship, especially of this size. So there's an increasing number of people getting notifications on their phones that our flight's not due to land until late tomorrow afternoon. And they're wondering, as we are, what on earth is going on. But so far, all we keep being told is we're gonna be taken to the airport. I think the main thing here is, if they just told people earlier that we wouldn't be flying tonight or until tomorrow, that's one thing, people could then uh, make their arrangements. You know, like we've got pets and a pet sitter, for example, and we're not likely to be able to get a hold of them tonight and we would need someone to go and look after them tomorrow. That's just one of probably many, many cases of things people need to organise. So as always, just let us know and then we can sort things out, can't we? Well, firstly, the flight to Manchester. We understand that websites are currently showing either a 7 a.m. departure time for that flight or indeed a cancel flight. Mm. That is in fact incorrect. Mm -hmm. That flight to Manchester is scheduled to depart from Antigua at 10.15 this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as such, we ask that you must... Now, sadly, with regards to the Gatwick flight, it is with regret I have to inform you that the air crew have experienced a disturbance during their regulated rest period, and as such, their working hours have had to be put back. Yeah, air crew on the flight. This means the Gatwick charter flight is now scheduled to depart from Antigua at about 4.30 tomorrow morning. 4.30 tomorrow morning. Well, where are you going to put us then? <laughs> Guests on that flight are now asked to muster in the Headliners Theatre before 1 o'clock in the morning this evening. In fact, the theatre will be available for you to use from about midnight. Wow. Of course, this situation is extremely regrettable, and we understand the frustration you will feel. No, an hours ago. No, we invite no, you no. to enjoy dinner on board and continue use of the entertainment venues. Now, for those guests on the Gatwick flight, we ask that at this stage, you remove your hand luggage from the Headliners Theatre and if you don't wish to keep this with you, please drop this off at the Ivory Suite on deck 17 forward on the starboard side near the crow's nest. As a reminder, your cruise card remains valid for any purchases you wish to make on board That's or need to get on or off the ship We shouldn't evening. have to make any purchases at this the stage. entire ship's company and everyone at PO Cruises apologise for these continued changes and particularly at such short notice. Well, it was known ages ago. It was known hours ago. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just doesn't happen. for more no, no, the remainder of guests on board, for Days those ago, indeed who have already crew. embarked today, sadly, due to our delayed departing flights this evening and the requirement to remain alongside in Antigua, Unfortunately, the call to Tortola is no longer achievable due to the time and speed involved. 
as such, Arvia will now remain alongside in St. John's Antigua until 5 o'clock tomorrow evening for you to enjoy an extended stay in this beautiful island. So, a quick recap. The Manchester flight will be and this can be positive at So we basically have to wait around till 1am now. So if they told us this before, we could have actually stayed ashore for longer. I don't know, make sure we pack the right kind of things. Under the uh, compensation rules, we shouldn't be paying for anything. No, we shouldn't. I don't think we should be paying for anything on board at this stage now. But. Unexpected visit to the buffet for dinner. I'd actually like to go to the main dining room in my flip flops, but I'll spare everyone my hobbit's feet. All right, I know I've got a weird concoction. I've got patatas bravas, some salad. I've got a butter bean and vegetable cassoulet. Wait, well, hey, did see them after all. Current situation and location update. Well, our Wi-Fi now no longer works, even though we bought a whole week's package uh, because of complications with the disembarkation, i.e. we should be off the ship now, but we're not. Um, we've just been to reception. There are some very upset people there. Lots of people on our flight who are saying, my internet's not working, I really need Wi-Fi. They can't do anything about it, folks. Nothing, we just can't have access to the internet. Um, it's beyond my understanding, it really is. We're now out on prom deck on loungers with towels. I'm hoping Matthew will get a little bit of sleep actually because it <laughs> will, <laughs> honestly, 24 hours without any sleep is not gonna work for someone of our age. <laughs> right, you need to go to sleep, Matthew Bertram, <laughs> otherwise you'll be a nightmare. Oh, 24 hours without sleep, no. Good night. The late night snacks by the pool. Or a Lush and a Horlicks for the old man Jamie. Right, we're at the aft now, trying to have a little nap. Not happening. Um, Deja vu. You're best off drinking them here um, as you can. Too little, really too late. <laughs> Are we getting off? Are we? No movement. Well, unusually, we have to hand these in now. Normally, you can take them with you. Well, goodbye, Avia. Bittersweet. At least it's warm and not raining. There you go, every cloud. Welcome to VC Bird International Airport, Antigua. Goodness knows what's going to happen now. Well, we're not up there at all. Very helpful. Ain't a whole lot of stuff going on here, folks. Right, well, now we just wait and see what happens. Um, we've got three hours and 15 minutes until our flight is due to take off, according to you know, but we don't trust anything they're saying tonight. Thank you so much for dropping us off so promptly to sit here with no staff um, and no indication about when the flight is leaving. Thank you for that. Well, the departure board is now showing a time of 5.30 a.m. So officially, p and have just dropped us off and left us in an airport terminal for the whole night. It's now gone five in the morning. So we've been here for four hours. Thanks, Pino. Thanks, Marit. You meat sandwiches. All right, it's now nearly 6 a.m. Yep, you heard that correctly. We are about to board 
So we have a different aircraft and therefore it's open seating. It's just chaos. So we don't get our exit row seat that we paid £90 each for. No doubt we'll be able to claim back, but wow. Total shit show, the whole thing. Not bad leg room, I will say that. Entertainment. And to be honest with you, we just want to sleep. Uh, we've now been awake for 24 hours. Yes, that's why I've got bags. Oh my god, the sun's coming up. This is too much. And now we have a fucking delay. I kid you not. And it's now quarter to seven. So we'll take out just a few minutes. Oh, we have to go back to the stand now because of an issue. You couldn't make any of this up, could you? You couldn't. Quarter to eight and still here. So the technical issue was fixed apparently about 20 minutes ago and yeah, we're still here. So there are some people now actually getting off the plane. We have no idea what's going on. So they won't tell us what the issue is. They're just saying it's safe. And we have to wait another 30 to 40 minutes. Malith. Error. You know, you've got a lot to answer for. You really have. And the delay continues because they now have to find luggage of those passengers who decided they didn't want to stay on the plane. Just heard from the captain. Now another 20, 25 minutes waiting. I'm at a loss. I really am. <coughs> it's now 8.30. Finally. That only added about an hour. Great. I spoke too soon. They still need to find more. It's now quarter past nine. It's now quarter to ten. So that's a 16 hour delay. particular configuration actually suits Matthew and I better of all these seats for two plus there was more leg room on this particular plane it was uh, an improvement I do like to find some positives as well don't I <laughs> oh it's a bit colder here folks by about 25 degrees officially the worst travel experience ever small mercies tiny little love case was out within seconds 
Now then, if we get a taxi home from London Gatwick, we might have time to see in the new year. <laughs> we might do that, why not splash out? I mean, we might get some compensation for the last 16 hours, so maybe we'll get a taxi. All right, it's time for reflections. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> well, there's no doubt about it. We did have an enjoyable Christmas cruise on board the beautiful Avia. This is a ship with so many facilities to enjoy, plus lots of entertainment all day and evening. We felt p worked really hard to make sure we had a great Christmas day. Food and service were generally very good. Just the odd blip and a few long wait times in the odd bar. We loved our cabin. It was spacious, bright, airy and a great location. Plus the itinerary with those fabulous Caribbean islands to die for. Some truly memorable moments. However, for as long as P&O use Malith Aero as their charter flights, we will never ever do a fly cruise to the Caribbean with them again. This was a truly horrifying experience and we were all treated so very, very poorly. Of course, we're now waiting very patiently to see how Pino respond to our formal complaint and indeed many other passengers complaints. To find out what happens next, make sure you subscribe to my channel and tune in to my Monday night lives. Thank you all for your continued support in helping me reach 22,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching. And why don't we follow each other on Facebook? Jamie W. Robbins. Also, X Threads Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie. Patreon.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie. Cameo.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie. And of course, YouTube. <laughs>